Lent calls us to journey this and every day, following Jesus wherever he leads us. Lent calls us to journey knowing Christ is with us. Jesus, Lord of our lives, guide us on the path that you have set before us. This day we walk with you as you ride into Jerusalem. We join the crowd, waving our palm branches and shout, Hosanna, save us through this journey, which will lead to the cross. You save us. I'm just so poor with a stranger. I'm traveling Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Melissa. On behalf of Franconia United Methodist Church, we welcome you on this Palm Passion Sunday. Um, today we have our cantata, No Other Lamb, No Other Name, and we're going to be so blessed. We thank our chancel choir, our handbell choir, our musicians, and our directors, directors Linda and Kevin, for all their hard work and dedication and time. Um, this is truly going to be um, such a blessing as we um, enter into Holy Week. You can follow along with our hymns today. Our lyric sheet can be found on our church website at franconiaumc.org slash lyrics. You can give your church offering today um, on the church website, or you can mail in your offering to the church. Your generosity and giving makes a tr tremendous difference in the life of our church and the life of our community. Um, Thursday for our... our Looking at our Holy Week services, we'll have Thursday, we will have a communion service on that Monday, Thursday, April 1st. Um, it'll be a Zoom service at 7.30. Um, you may use elements from home, bread, juice, or crackers, and that Zoom link can be found in our church calendar. For our Good Friday Ten Embrace service, that will be available on, um, at, on at 7.30 p.m. And then for Easter Sunday, that service will be available at 10 a.m. They all can be available on our church website, 
on the Facebook page or on YouTube. So let us now center our hearts as we prepare to worship. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with hair. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds went ahead of him, and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he, is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth, in Galilee. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Rejoice, the Lord is King, your Lord and King of all. Mortals, give thanks and sing and triumph evermore. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, Rejoice! Jesus the Savior reigns, the God of truth and love. When he had purged our sins, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart. Lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail, he rules our earth and hell. The keys of earth and hell are to our Jesus King. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Rejoice in glorious hope, Jesus the judge shall come, and take his servants up to the eternal. All home. We soon shall hear your angel's voice, the trump of God shall sound. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, King of glory, as the people spread their cloaks and palm branches on the ground to welcome you into Jerusalem, so we welcome you into our lives. Reign in our hearts and our lives this day and all days. 
that we might praise your holy name and follow as you lead us through this holy week. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Today is Palm Sunday. A lot of you helped start our service because you sent in recordings of waving palm branches. We usually wave palm branches on Palm Sunday because it reminds us of what really happened that very first Palm Sunday. Let's do a little experiment here. I want you to kind of think about what it would have been like back then. You're in your house and your best friend comes over and he says, Jesus is here. He's coming to Jerusalem. You've got to come see him. And you said, Jesus, who's Jesus? He said, you will not believe it. This guy, he's healing people. He's making blind people see. He's making deaf people hear. He's making people who can't walk able to walk. He's doing incredible things, and he's teaching about God. You've got to come see him. He is the person who's going to save us. He's the Messiah. Well, you run in your backyard, and you break off some palm branches, and you give them to your family. The reason they had palm branches is that was a sign of victory. And Jesus was going to save them, so they wanted to be able to wave the palm branches. So you go to the parade. Everybody is there, and everybody is waving palm branches around. It's amazing. And then they start singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Everybody's convinced. This is Jesus. He has come to save them. They even take cloaks and they lay them on the ground in front of Jesus as he rides into Beth into Jerusalem. It's amazing. They're so sure he's there to save them. But Jesus 
wasn't there to rescue them from their earthly rulers. Jesus was coming for a different reason, to save us so that he could reign in heaven, not on earth. And this triumphant entry was the beginning of an incredible week. We celebrate it now because Palm Sunday starts our Holy Week, where we, we remember the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples. We remember how Jesus died on the cross for us, and it leads us into the most incredible day, Easter morning, when we learn that Jesus beat death and he rose from the dead. Palm Sunday is a great celebration, but it's just a beginning. It's just a start for the real celebration of Easter morning. I hope you have a terrific week and that you remember during this week of what Jesus did for us, that he came, he took that horrible punishment for us so that we could be forgiven. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for sending Jesus so that he could die for our sins and that we could have this relationship with you. Please be with us this week so that we can keep our focus on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a terrific week. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, on this holy day, Palm Passion Sunday, we have so many mixed feelings inside of us. We remember your son's triumph, triumphant entrance into Jerusalem with the people shouting praises and waving palm branches. And we join them with our own praises. And yet... We remember, too, that this wonderful parade for your son becomes another kind of parade before officials and the booing crowds. Instead of the crowd shouting and singing his praises, they are shouting to crucify him. And our hearts are broken by those very shouts and the pain and suffering he bore that day. And yet we know that it is because of his choosing to enter Jerusalem and taking the path he knew he was taking, there is hope, grace, love, and salvation for all. And there are still many in need of hope in our world. There are still many in our need of your grace in our world. There are still many in need of your love in our world. And there are still many in need of salvation in our world. Pour out your healing power upon those who are sick, those who are recovering. Comfort to those who mourn this day. We pray for our world and its people. Lord, enter into our lives, our churches, our cities, our world once again today. Heal us, Lord. Transform us. Renew us. Draw us closer to you in this journey of Holy Week and empower us with strength and courage and with assurance that you are indeed with us this day and always. We pray all this name in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray as one family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Gospel reading is taken from John chapter 1, verses 26 to 29. John answered, I baptize with water. Someone greater stands among you, whom you don't recognize. He comes after me, but I'm not worthy to untie his sandal straps. This encounter took place across the Jordan in Bethany, where John was baptizing. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Welcome to Franconia's second virtual cantata, No Other Lamb, No Other Name. My name is Kevin Lackey, and I'm proud to be the director of music ministries for our community. This cantata, it brings us through the tragic and dramatic events of Holy Week, from Jesus entering into Jerusalem to his traumatic sacrifice upon the cross. When programming this cantata, my intent was for us to take the seat of the emotion that the singers are bringing forward. We are literally singing the words, Hosanna as Jesus enters the city. What have they done when Jesus dies upon the cross? And saying a prayer together, no other lamb, no other name, for which this cantata is titled. Our musicians have worked exceptionally hard to bring this virtual cantata to you and I couldn't be more proud. We're also welcoming a personal friend of mine, Jenna Freeman, who is joining the choir with clarinet. Each of the choral and vocal works you're hearing today features the works of J. Althaus, the esteemed composer. I always say that you know someone's really good when they've been in the business for this long. He writes heartfelt music that you know comes right from God. We want to thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoy the cantata, No Other Lamb, No Other Name.
Oh
Thank you for worshiping with us today. This is only part of the story. Jesus' triumph leads to his death, his death to his resurrection. May as you enter into this holy week, may you know the fullness of Christ's love. Go in peace.